Hi everyone, this is Garrison from Iron Kingdoms at War. I thought I'd just show you a little terrain project I put together recently. Um, it's really easy, I think anyone can do it. And uh, it's this water tower. You know, I figured in the Iron Kingdoms, where you've got a lot of stream, steam driven machinery, um, both civilian and uh, tools of war, uh, you're going to need a lot of coal and you're going to need a lot of water. So I thought a water tower would be fitting. Now there's lots of great uh, tutorials online about how to make water tanks. There's a neat one at terrainthralls.com. Uh, lots of cool stuff. I wanted to make something really simple that you could make with mainly household items. And uh, you know the main pieces that I had to put together were the tank itself. Now the tank itself, this barrel shape, is actually made of a Slim Jim can. Uh, but uh, it's actually the same size as this kind of mini or small Pringles can. Right? So I basically cut it in half and that became the barrel or water tank for the water tower. The uh, next thing I wanted to show you that I made was the roof of this, or the dome. And that's basically uh, sheet styrene plastic. Now let me tell you a little trick. A really great source of uh, plastic that's really cheap is at your local discount store, a for sale sign. That's right. It's nice cheap plastic. It's easy to cut. You can do what you need with it. Um, not only did the for sale sign become my circular roof, which I um, made into a cone shape and then put these reinforcements on and put rivets on. Um, I do want to point out that the for sale sign always also provided all my rivets. And uh, a great way to make rivets, in case you don't know or haven't tried it before, is with a uh, leather rotary hole punch such as this. So basically what you do is you just punch your for sale sign uh, with this and you create some nice rivets, you shake them out and you uh, glue them on and you get that nice little rivet effect. So I've got rivets all over this thing. I always think of Iron Kingdom, I always think of rivets and rickety type equipment so I had to rivet up. At the top is a uh, just a plain flat thumbtack just to kind of seal the roof here and to kind of cover up the end of these uh, reinforcing panels that go up. This is sheet styrene for sale sign really also around the edges. The uh, frame of this piece is just a combination of balsa wood and coffee stirrers. And by the way, coffee stirrers are what really made uh, most of the uh, edge of that water tank too. Coffee stirrers, sometimes called craft sticks at uh, discount stores and uh, craft stores, are just um, you know small sticks like this. You can see I just cut it to shape and basically went around the cylinder of the uh, snack can. And I've also used it for some of the slats on the base as well. You could use all craft sticks, but I've also used some thicker balsa wood on the sides. The reinforcements here on the corners are just um, basically more styrene or yard sign plastic. Uh, cut, hinged, um, riveted, you know, rivets put on there for effect. And uh, yeah, I guess the last thing I need to talk about with a water tank, besides a little sign here, and you can, maybe you can come up with an idea of what it says, I made it nondescript just for fun, is the, uh, the water pipe. Now most water towers traditionally would have the water pipe up here on the front because they'd be for loading like steam locomotives in, in the real world. I thought, you know, if you're going to put water in something, maybe be lower to the ground in the Iron Kingdoms. So I had the pipe go ahead and come out the bottom of this. So what I with the pipe is I used another common item, which is always a goal of mine so that people can recreate things, is I used a bendy straw, right, you know, a bendy straw like this. And that's basically what is coming out the bottom of the water tower. Excuse me. Except basically, um, I've got it coming out of the bottom water tower, and then I've got this bladder, basically, kind of a hinge that I made out of uh, bottling putty. And I've connected a smaller straw, which is probably hard to tell from the video, but the smaller straw is actually one of those little straws from like a like a juice box, because I have little kids, so we always got lots of those laying around. So um, you know, this is a juice box straw, kind of connected with that uh, modeling putty bladder to the larger Benny straw that comes out of the bottom of the structure. Uh, the idea of this chain here is just that, well, basically, when they're not using the water pipe, they can, this is when they're using it, it's kind of detached and they can, they can get low and so forth, and then they can uh, hook it, see I put a hook on there, they can hook it on that chain when they're not using it and keep it in more of an upright position. Chain is always really easy with train projects, just buy yourself some nice cheap, uh, jewelry uh, craft store jewelry train chain it's uh, really easy to come by and you've basically got your chain ready to go so that's it basically a combination of uh, some chain some plastic yard signs some coffee stirs or craft sticks some bendy straws and uh, a snack can like a Pringles can or a Slim Jim can and before you know it 
you've got your War Machine's water tower. And I just thought I'd put a figure Gorman to Wolf here next to it, just so you can get a sense of scale. So I hope you liked uh, this train tutorial. If you want more detailed information, you can visit my blog at blitzbattles.blogspot.com. The name of the blog is Iron Kingdoms at War. My name's Garrison. Have a great day.